It's your boy, the real Rick James. Me, no G, the young OG, that's my OG. And this the podcast. Podcast, cause a nigga ain't got time to be naming this ain't shit. Never got time for that, man. I think we had a uh, episode four in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 Everybody that know me know what that means yeah, to me. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> we, hey, we trying to, we trying to get more consistent. You know, life. Like oh, still yeah, cheers to the phone. Oh, yeah, we oh. cheers to the phone. Big old cheers to the phone. <laughs> hey, hair. Phone oh, shit, no whole shit. Mm. Hey, man, this is a Neho and Respasado, boy. Them hit a little different than uh, Silver to me, boy. I still, I still <laughs> fuck with the Silver. Really? They a boozy ass man. Man, they hit a little, they give you a little different buzz, man. I'm sipping Silver on the way over here. Hey, man, we got to get on the album. That stopped the culture. Did it stop the culture? Man, everybody talking about it, man. For the I last ain't no, week. You know, I ain't no big internet ass nigga. Yeah. So you told me about that motherfucker. I ain't even know that motherfucker dropped. Hey, that motherfucker is pretty serious. Uh, we about to get into the uh, good, the bad, and the ugly on it, though, man. But what album we talking about? The uh, new J. Cole. What is it called? Uh, uh, it's kind of like off season. off season. The off season joint. I was gonna say off the quarter. So the off season joint. So we got number one. I don't know how this is in order, but this is how you two got this shit. Right, right, right. That ninety five South joint. Ooh, what you think about that? I like that. Yeah. I loved it. Oh, with Cam, <laughs> okay, Killer I'm Cam coming in there first. Oh, like, let me tell him what I'm gonna yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do love, <laughs> like, cool, trap. Love like cool trash. Love like cool trash. Ninety five South with the little Johnny Eastside boy. Yeah, loved it. You loved it. You loved it. So that familiar. Joy. So familiar. From the lyricists too to have yeah. that other little crunk aspect. The little, uh, uh. and then a lot of people probably don't realize that's that Jay Z beat in the background that he remixed. That uh, one of Jay Z. Uh, you don't know what you do to me. Damn, you I don't realize. know what you do. to I'm going to have to listen that's to it That's going to make me like it even more. That's going to make me love it even more. Man, for real. Love that's it. a song I used to try to get you to like Jay-Z about. Because <laughs> that beat is so good. Because I don't like Jay-Z, but we'll you get into that later. Yeah, well, yeah. On the that call, call. They can get it on that 95 South. I don't like stuff. Jay-Z. We'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah, that's a different podcast, man. What's 95 it? South, how you rate it? Uh, love, I love like, that motherfucker. He came in there. Uh, he came in there right. I don't fuck with that. Okay. Amari. Yeah, of course. I fuck loved it. That. I fuck with that. Loved that is, it. Man. Special place in my heart. Yeah, yeah, me too. Loved but it. can I say this? I didn't, I thought the hook was too complicated. That's cold. Yeah, but I'm saying, I thought the hook was too complicated. Cold what cold But it was doing. nice, though. He did his thing. He didn't have nothing catchy on that. Uh, What's the next one? So, yep. Uh, no, yeah, like, nothing like catchy love. On like love or cool. I love or track. Amari. I love Amari too. Okay. My life. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. Can I say this? Can I say this? I'm about to say something blasphemous. 20 plus savage. <laughs> His verse. Oh my God. He went harder than cold. Harder than cold. He went harder than cold. That ain't the only time cold guy showed up on this, on but this he album. He went harder than cold. With and Cole went like, nasty. That is the only oh time Cole God. got showed up on this album. That was a perfect ass song, mm. man. I, I, that's my favorite song on there. That's my so favorite song. Super of the duper, year. super duper love. Uh, my life. Woo. More that's right? my favorite song of the year man, so that, far. That, that damn hook. Woo. All right, that, that's amazing. That was a classic. That's that overlooked. song is a classic. That's bro. overlooked. Yeah, that song is classic. A classic. That song classic, though, is, is overlooked. <coughs> Okay, well, we, did we speak of, enough on 21? Hold on, let's Man, go into nah, 21. Yeah, let's go into 21. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That nigga went nuts on that motherfucker. Because on With, paper, yeah. on paper, like, it'll fuck your bracket up. Right, right, right. Like, if you fantasy batting this yeah. shit on paper, it's going to fuck your bracket up. Like, okay, J. Cole going. Yeah, yeah. J. Cole going. Sh- right. Shit. Ever. Ever. Uh, he got some nice verses. Yeah, he ain't no pushover neither. 
But J. Cole, Ooh. J. Cole a rapping, rap, rap, rap I was not expecting nigga. that, boy. So, like, on paper, on paper, it'll look like J. Cole just spent a wipe the yeah. floor oh with this nigga. Oh, my God. Bro, he the fuck my brain. Man, <laughs> that nigga 21. You did your best oh shit. Oh, my God, boy. You did your thing on there, boy. I got to salute you. I could, I, I know you got that in you, but even that was a different level than you ever went, boy. You said J. Cole ain't fucking me up on this one. Applying pressure. Applying pressure. Cool. Applying pressure, I like. I didn't like it, and I didn't hate it. So it was cool. It was cool. I like it, though. It was cool. What's next? So we ain't going to get into that one too much. That was cool. It was all right. Cool. It was I like it. I like it. I think it was Jake. It, I think it was. I heard it right after Twenty One. Yeah. And it just. It wasn't was like, a good. It wasn't a good spot for it. Yeah. yeah maybe rearrange it. Because I'm. I'm re. So. My bad. Uh, let me jump on applying pressure. So boom, it's right after the Twenty One Savage joint. I didn't listen to the Twenty One Savage joint on repeat. Two, three, three times before I get to the applying pressure. So it don't hit the same. But if I probably just sit on applying pressure, it might grow. It might so grow. It's, it's cool. It's, it's I ain't saying week, I hate it's it. It's only been a week on applying pressure. I ain't saying I hate it. It might be good. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool for right now. For, for right, right now, now, it's cool. I'm putting it at cool. What's if that? it was a stock, I wouldn't sell it. Okay. You'll sit on it. I hope. Yeah, I would too. I wouldn't buy none either. Nah, nah. I mean, I might buy some because it's called buy the... So, in stocks, you say buy low, sell high. So I might buy a little bit of it. I mean, if I got some, I already got them, so I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, all right. If it was hold. a stock, I'm holding. Okay, hold. That's I ain't, cool. I ain't. Gonna right, buy right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hundred mil. Oh my God. <laughs> he came, hold on. He came, he came right back. Another banker. <laughs> so it didn't make me go back yeah. to apply okay, pressure. Okay, okay. It didn't make me go back. Yeah. It just was like, okay, that shit cool. I probably yeah. only listened to Apply Pressure two times because right. I listened to the album a good three times. Right, right, right. I probably only listened to Apply Pressure two times. Because yeah. I couldn't wait to get from yeah. 21 seconds to 100 <laughs> minutes. I ain't going to lie. The third time I knew the album, I was like, okay, 100 mil. 100 mil is that thing. 100 mil is next. I fucks with 100 mil. The, the flow. The cadence, he switched it up with the little sing song and shit. Man. Hey, I fucks with that song too. Oh, yeah. really? Hey, I'm, I'm going to hey, say, man. I'm going to say, my life is right here, 100 mil, like right there. Yeah. That motherfucker probably going to be a classic. Yeah. I'm going to say, probably, because I, I ain't going to call it classic right now. My life is a classic song, period. I know I'm going to be listening to that forever. 100 mil might be right up under that. That's a motivational joint. That show you. He showed you how he came from broke to now. He talking his big shit. Man. He talking his best Love shit it. on that thing, boy. Loved it. Okay. Even so. the feature, uh, who up, bass? Yeah, yeah. That that scene, boy, he killed that. He killed that. Shout I out to you. Said. Shout out to you. Shout out to bass. It's hard to stand next to Cole. Yes, bro. Boy, it's hard. Out to gate. So, 100 mil, 100 mil, that's what? Uh, I loved it, and it could be. Overloved. It could be classic, yeah, bro. Honey Mill could yeah, be yeah. classic, so it's overloved, yeah, yeah, yeah. under classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be yeah. classic. It could be classic. Okay, I'll go for that. Pride is to death. Mm-hmm. Now, this right here resonated with me. Ooh, who meets this? This is my favorite song. Go with the motherfucking album. I listened to it this a hundred times. This is my second favorite. This is my favorite. Hey, my wife and me, me and my wife was listening to that motherfucker in the car. I said, baby, that, that song almost just made me cry. <laughs> it resonated with me different. I mean, song my made pride, me cry, boy. Because our parents Man. always said our pride of what? They'll kill you, boy. Pride, pride kill is going to get us killed. They didn't say it would. I they mean, said it. get you killed. Yeah. They didn't say it would. They said, y'all pride going to get y'all killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. I don't think they. Baby I, didn't understand. She, she was grooving on the song, but she I don't know if she even understood why I was over there about to cry. She like. I'm like, babe, we gotta listen to that again. Because, <laughs> like, what he just did with that, Woo! I couldn't even. That's my like, favorite shit on this album. What's crazy is Cole not a street nigga, right? Yeah. But, like, for him to even have that type of pride that we gotta let you know that it's not about being in the streets or not being in the streets. Some niggas just gonna die. Woo! Some niggas just gonna die about it. And I, I always been one of them niggas. I know my pride yeah. is gonna get, like, Man. Like, you, I'm that nigga that you could send off the cliff. All you got to do is well, call me. Well, you was close to me, like, then about to cry because it was hitting Man, me so hard. Man, it was, yeah, boy. 
I listen to it about hundred. So I'm gonna say that that song resonates in my soul more than my life, but my life is a better song. So and because of the Twenty One Savage verse, so like to me, I'm not saying my was, life is better as a song. Yeah, but Pride Is the Devil hit me. Yeah. It's one of them feeling tracks. You know I, what I'm I would agree that um, my life is the best song, but yeah. Pride Is the Devil is my favorite. So for my for, favorite don't always have to be the best. Yeah. So for me, I'm gonna say this. Pride is the Devil is a my classic. I don't know who it's going to be a classic for everybody. Super <laughs> duper <laughs> duper it's classic. It's a my classic. Oh, no, man, that bitch classic. <laughs> Period. For any nigga yeah. that's about what he really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit you so, lay up and tell and tell on, talk with your bitch at night. Yeah, If you really business. about that shit, stand on bro, that shit going to hit you somewhere. Oh and... God. Well, baby, would have my favorite. Yeah, he killed that thing. He had my favorite verse. What he killed Cole verse to you? I ain't say he killed him. Okay, but Twenty One Savage killed him. Twenty One killed him. But baby, did what? He had my favorite verse because I just didn't expect it. Yeah, okay. I didn't expect it. That I was like, that's what you put on this song, right? (laughs) But I need, I needed baby on there because he more of. He got a young, young nigga, uh, the young and the street kid. nigga character too. You know what I'm saying? Like the nigga who out there, who Cole was talking about, kind of, yeah. but even saying himself got these type of demons. Yeah. But like, I got it from baby. You feel me? Pride yeah. is the devil is okay. So, so can I say that's my favorite song? That's what I'm saying. My Even life is the it best. It's the best song. My life is the best. And Pride is Pride Devil was my favorite. favorite. My favorite don't always have and, to be. And the best. if I if I said that earlier backwards, I'm sorry. Let me correct that. Pride is the Devil is my favorite song. My life is the best song. Yeah, I, yeah that's what I said. Because okay. uh, <laughs> my favorite don't always have to be the best. So yeah, uh, little baby was uh speaking up for the street niggas and they perspective in that joint. I thought what he was doing was uh, just showing how, like, niggas who in the hood is still going through what they uh, pride is uh, uh, attacking them from, like, a, a spiritual perspective, too. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Lil Baby Verse, man. He had probably my favorite verse on that bitch. He had your favorite verse on the whole motherfucker? Probably my favorite verse on that bitch. On the whole album or just that song? Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. 21 ain't even had my favorite verse on the whole oh, album. 21 might be my favorite verse on the whole album. Hell no, the interlude. Album. Yeah, the interlude was crazy though, but where we at? So, we, we on Pride is the Devil. What's after that? Let Go My Hand. Trash. Let Go My Hand wasn't trash. I disagree. Uh, Pride is the Devil is my favorite song on that album. That's my favorite song on that motherfucker. It might too. not be the best song. I ain't gonna on that say it's the best either. My life is the best. Yeah. But Pride is the Devil hit me in my soul just different, period. Like yeah. I almost cried on that So Let Go My Hand came behind that motherfucker and it just wasn't up the point. But it's still like I said, that that song might grow. That song might grow with time because he had a different flow, the uh, you know the um what is the stand vibe, the stand flow vibe, or whatever? It was, I it like was cool. stand. I ain't like let go my hand. Yeah, yeah. I ain't like the beat. I ain't like his flow. I like this. I like his lyrics. His like flow his wasn't. Lyrics. His flow was recycled. Let's be honest. His flow was recycled. It wasn't nothing that. It just wasn't nothing that never nothing. happened before. Yeah, it didn't give me nothing. Cause he was talking. Ah. Yeah, you don't want to hear a nigga who can rap talk. <laughs> like rap, nigga. That's, rap, that's nigga. Yeah, yeah, rap, yeah, rap, rap, ass, nigga. Yeah, rap. rap. Let me hear some rap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I ain't like let go of my hand. Where you ranking that? Cause I put it in the trash. I put it in the white. You liked it? Yeah, I liked it. Interlude. Interlude cold. I, I love it. Ooh! Interlude cold. Interlude. My favorite bars on the whole mixtape. Got potential to be classic. My favorite bars on the whole. I called it a mixtape. That bitch was so hard. He was rapping so hard. I called that bitch a mixtape. On the album, though. My favorite bars on the whole album. It sounded like a mixtape. For y'all that don't know, mixtape is when a nigga go hard with their rap shit. That's our generation of. Mixtape. I me? called that nigga shit a mixtape. Cause it was so hard. That nigga shit was so hard. I called it a mixtape. No mix hook, no nothing. Just like, let's get to it, nigga. Mm-hmm. Let me show you. Uh, let me flex on you, nigga. Mm-hmm. Uh. My I favorite bars on that motherfucker. I loved it. What'd you say? Love. Love. 
Love, definitely love. Might be classic. Might in be between classic, classic yeah. and, and love. love. What's yeah, that? Yeah, Might yeah. be classic. Might be classic. Can be classic. Can grow. Potential. On. Can grow on me even more. What's next after that? The climb back. Put it in the garbage. Mm. Climb back. I don't even got nothing to really say about it. Do better, Cole. But it might grow too because, like, overall, now nah, we ain't know on overall until we get to the end. But I'll tell y'all how I feel overall at the end. I feel but like yeah, this. Yeah. I feel the same way I feel about the clown back as I feel about let go of my hand. Them bitches shouldn't have been on this motherfucker. They could have been on this album. It go, it go with the continuity. It and don't. This, this shit. It ain't nothing different about it. It didn't have the same the... feel. Them songs did not have the same feel. And it's they might be song. older than some of the newer shit. It's and another the... song that didn't have the same feel, but we ain't got yeah, to. Yeah, all right. What's next after after that? Climb back in the trash. Where you put it? I said I um, like I like it. You said do better. I like it, but do better. I like it, but do better. At least put it that cool if it's do better. Cool and do better. And, yeah, but I, I can like a cool, can't I? You can like a cool. Yeah, but for, it's cool, but I like it. But for the sake of the categories, it's cool. you can't put it It's cool. Like. Okay, cool. If it's do for better. For the categories, cool, do better, cool, maybe. Because I, I still give all this shit potential to grow. I blame your A and R because I mean you was rapping on them bitches, but them bitches ain't ain't, ain't had the same feel as this album. But, um, close, close, ridiculous, ridiculous. The rhyme scheme, the patterns, the in and outs, the when you talking about a nigga who rap and write, like I understand what he was doing on that thing. Crazy. Oh my God, he got in his bag on that. Crazy. He might have been in his personal bag the most on that. Yeah, I feel like he wrote that for him. <laughs> yeah, he might. I feel been. like he was like, he let me see if I can do this whole do. shit, yeah. the whole rap. Let me do it. <laughs> yeah, the whole rap. Yeah, he just the hook rhyme I mean, with the verse, man, the verse rhyme crazy. with the hook. Yeah, I fuck with that. Salute, Cole. Cole. Cole, I know what you was doing on close. I fuck with it. Hunger on. Hey, hold on, hold on. Love, like, cool, uh, trash. Um, Love close. I love close I, too. I like close. I love potential close. to love. I love close, and it could get better with time. Potential to I like it. Potential to love. All I right. can't say it got potential to be a classic. I don't know. Some some shit. Yeah, I don't know. Classics is so hard because they can grow with you, and you'll be like, I remember twenty two twos from Jay Z. When I first heard it, I was like, this is crazy. But I didn't think it was classic until I realized what he was doing. And I was so young, but when I got older and I said, this nigga was the first one to do this. Yeah. Like, boom. So that's what can make it classic. Um, he ain't the first one to do to that. To do that type of shit, yes. For me, that I heard, I'm saying personally, yes. Tip, for me to hear it. Tip hit that on, I'm serious. Nah, that's, oh, that's way after. He did 22 twos on reason. No, I'm talking, about cl- I'm talking about close. Oh, close, yeah. Close, close. I'm talking about 22 twos. I was saying how... Boom, it ended up being classic because of what he did. Which, I mean, this close can be classic maybe later when I start analyzing what he did on that. I could love it later. I like it with potential to love. Alright, that's cool. That's personal feelings and shit. Homer on the hillside. Man. Trash. I I think it just go with the continuity of the the album. It don't. It It go with the other three songs that don't go with the album. It was a throw in right there. But, um, to close off your album, you're going to do a throw-in? I think it was to cl- to close off the album, I think it was a conclusion and it was uh, like, I'm the champ, like a declaration. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. You ain't like I ain't it. like the beat. I ain't like the flow again. Um, It didn't go with the overall feel of the album. I don't feel like it was J. Cole's fault because he was rapping his ass off. Yeah. I just feel like... It's an A and R error somewhere in, in in Dreamville. It's like an A and R error somewhere. Man, there. if you don't think Cole was still picking his shit that go on there, then you crazy. Well, but that's his problem. He a nigga that got a uh, one hundred percent probably creative uh, control of his shit. Well, Cole, you look at him right there in the camera. Cole, <laughs> you fucked off a classic. Cause you want to be too much in control, bro. <laughs> you fucked off a classic album, bro. You fucked it up Cause I, I mean I, I agree with you You rapping your ass off But these three songs Do not go with the overall feel of the album They go with each other 
Them three songs that you snuck in at the end of your album, they go with each other, but they don't go with the overall feel of this fucking album. So what you think about the album? So, okay. Like, love, classic, cool, trash. I feel like this. If a good book in bad is not a good book. If a good movie have a bad ending, you'll be like, stupid ass movie had that stupid ass ending. Why we don't give albums the same pressure? They, they allow to throw bullshit in. And I feel like it's an A&R error and you saying it's him. And if it is your ass, you need to release some of that motherfucking pressure off your off the gas, bro. Get off the gas a little bit, bro. And let some motherfucker steer just a little bit. Let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> I fucks with it. I love this album. I love the album, but he fucked off a classic and it makes me mad. But I, I'm going to say this. The only reason why I don't put the album as classic is because it's missing something. Yeah, he fucked it off. He ain't fucked it off. He could have added and made it a classic, too. If he would have added, like, two more big singles, I feel like it would have been classic. Because even classic albums got one or two, even potentially three that you just don't fuck with personally. But somebody else might fuck with it. Like, I don't agree with you on, <coughs> on everything because I like some of the shit. I feel like uh, if he would have took two of them songs off, Added two singles, it would have made it a classic. I feel like if he would have added two singles with them three Dookie songs, it still would have made it a classic. In conclusion, I feel like that motherfucker is a a seven out of eight. I mean, a seven out of ten album that could have been a ten out of ten. I give the album a. a at least an eight. I want to get eight point five. Like that motherfucker is up there for me, but I, to me, classics go nine or better. So an eight point five is like right up under classic. He talked so much shit on there. I cannot, man. And he he got my attention, bro, for the first time in a long time. The last person album I gave this much attention to was G Herbo, nigga. That's almost been a year. You feel me? Like, I don't be giving people albums that much attention unless you spitting that shit. Now, I might like a couple here and there, but, like, I gave him a lot of attention this week, and I ain't even been bumping music, period. So that's what I say. Like, when you stop me from doing what I do on an everyday basis where I'm listening to you at work, and I ain't even supposed to be on my phone, nigga, I'm listening to you on breaks, I'm coming home, bumping your shit, I'm listening to you. With my wife instead of letting her listen to what she listened to, nigga, you got some shit. I can't give and it. And baby, I tell you, I don't listen to music with her. I can't give it classic, bro. Nah, but I'm saying he's saying some shit. I can't really go over a seven because out of thirteen tracks. Do you I'm, love like cool or trash this motherfucker? I love this album. Okay, then that's almost classic, nasty. So it's love eight. is right up there. I give it an eight. Yeah, it gotta be like eight, eight point five. This is one of the best albums in the last ten Two, years. three, ten. Ten? Nah, cause ten he even had Forest Drive. Yeah, he so like, two of the best this, albums is this better than Forest Drive? I don't Man, know. It's too soon to say. I don't even think it's close. It's even just our first, see. even our first listen, I heard Forest Drive and knew it was different. Yeah, even for um, first listen, I think everybody was like a good kid, Mad City classic. You feel me? They heard it immediately. Like I don't know if this is classic, so it could be one of them. uh, This the one of the best albums in the last five years. Okay, I go with five years then. It's one of the best albums. There's only a couple albums I would say that is better than this in the last five years. Uh, one of them might be Gates Ishla. The other one might be uh, Lil Baby nice Shit. Album. Lil Baby Shit was nice than a bitch. Ishla is a classic album. Yeah, that's why I said it's better than this. Like, hands down. I would put this album up there with Lil Baby Shit. I would put this album up here with um, Jeezy's last year. I'm not saying it's not better than that shit, but I'm saying... It's on the cusp of... Jeezy last album. What was Jeezy last album? Jeezy last album. I can't even remember the name of it. 
but it was hard to I me. remember it being hard. It was like though. that, uh, he had some shit on Oh, uh, okay, so yeah, you up there, you were seven again. You were seven again. Seven, because, eight-ish. No, you were seven. And because... I'm Punk OG gonna, shit was hard. G Herbal shit was hard. I'm not going to remember the name of your album. Off I season? Did. You might not remember that? No, I ain't just remember it at the beginning of this podcast. You right. I'm but, not going to remember the name of your album in, in the next five years. I like... I love you some songs. You love this shit? Did you love the album or did you just love some songs? I think I like his album. I like Jeezy album. Not at the top. Because if, if we would have did this podcast when Jeezy album came out, I would have yeah. like, I love that nigga album. But time where... And it ain't hard as motherfucking trap or die. Hell nah. Shit. But I think... I think Thug this... I think this J. Cole album might be better with time though because of what he's saying and the bars we didn't catch. I know you catch bars quick as hell. So you caught most of the shit you gonna catch. But I feel like he done said some something on some of them other songs that you feel like is trash. And if you do give them a chance to listen again later on, just like, what's this as trash as I thought? No, he rapped his ass off. That's what I'm saying like, now. Mm, no, only songs that. that I say was trash is three of them. He rapped his ass off on all three. Yeah. I ain't like the beats. I ain't like the flow. You'll yeah. never like the beats then. If you don't like the beats now... Beats don't get better with time. They get worse. Yeah. So I say that. But vibes get better with time. The older you get, because you're not cold age, right? And he talking that grown man shit. He in that when Jay-Z got his age and he did a whole new flip. Uh, nah, I'm talking about, okay, so when Jay-Z was 33, that's when he started saying, nigga, we don't wear throwbacks. We in the button-ups. J. Cole talking about 100 mil and still grinding. You feel He flexing. He in that flex like mode. He in million. that. He in that. I'm grown now. I like the hundred mil. I got a son. I should have like uh, let my. I'm not saying go. you don't like hundred mil. I'm saying this whole album as a whole can get better with time. It can, or it could get. I just don't like lost the fact in the wind. He didn't have a couple, just two more big singles. It's not a big enough song on there for it not to get lost in the wind. It's not a big enough song on there for it to be classic either for me right now. It's going to get lost in the wind. I can't even think of Jeezy last album name and I liked it. Yeah, hey, just like it. So, boom. I, I, I got to go with you kind of similar to you, but I do love this album. Right now, I, I do. love this album right now. So, I don't know how it'll be in the future, but it could either go down to like or it could go up to classic. That's how... Spread and versatile he is on this album. Yeah, it could, I don't think he got a big enough song for it to go up. My life. I, I think we already said that's a classic song. I think if he make that big as a single and it catch fire, because it is like Love Yours, like Love Yours wouldn't have been big without the video like it was. I it would have been just one of them classic songs on a classic album. I think he's gonna do hundred mil as the next single. 100 mil is cool for a next single, but trust me, my life is going to be one of them singles. It, he it loved to, to bring him and 21 out. It needs to be, but, I mean, sometimes shit could go too late. Hold on, the nigga Moray who's on the hook is on the come up. So that's why he might put that as a single too to put boost him up. And he got something to say. I know you might not be hip to Moray like that. Yeah, I was but the crazy. nigga is nice, so like he might be the next thing popping. So he might put that as a single last. I ain't going to say I'm hip to do, but I he, I wasn't unfamiliar with Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, like, with, with the projection of where Moray going and with the projection of 21 Savage's verse being his best verse ever, nigga, he might throw that as the last single and it go crazy like 21 Savage shit did with Cole. Yeah, but this CD need three singles. The, uh, a lot. It got Amari. You said it got... Um, hundred mil, up. and then I'm saying my life. There's other the three singles. There's other three singles that can make it potentially classic. You gotta make it classic. Yeah, you feel me? So that's why I said it. It could be like or classic. I agree. All right. So we got to the end of that. Okay. So, uh, like I said, J Cole, salute, nigga. You had a real decent album. Now, I want to get into a serious subject of, uh, you know, it takes a village to, to raise a child, to give them uh, morals, values, uh, stuff you can learn, 
and apply it later on in life. I had plenty of uncles, plenty of cousins, plenty of aunties, my mama, my daddy, my grandmama, my granddaddies. They all gave me something to make me the man I am. Man, niggas be pussy. I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, niggas will tell you something that they don't stand up. Niggas be pussy. Oh. Um, what that got to do with the morals and values that you learn from your aunties, your mama? Like, go into it different. Like, what you mean? Specifically, like, your uncle. You saying your uncle is pussy, your cousin is pussy, and Both. they told you something that they ain't stand on? Both. Okay, that's how you feel about it. But do you feel like it take a village? Or you got you and your kids? And nobody else can say nothing. There's some shit I really don't want to talk about because niggas is pussy. I hear you, but that I'm saying, do you feel like it take a village man. to help you raise yours? Man. Or not? Man, fuck You got man. to all say. You got to all say everything that's your morals, your values. Nobody else shit matter. I'm not right 100% of the time. Because I do a lot of shit. I used to do a lot of shit based off emotion. Okay. So I'm not going to say I'm, a, I'm right 100% of the time. And sometimes some motherfuckers can even come and tell even me that I'm tripping. All right. But don't be running around the town telling a motherfucker to do some shit that you ain't solid. Stand up. I agree with on that. Fuck the village, they pussy. The village pussy. For me. That's that's your opinion, so I guess uh you ain't fucking with the village when it comes to your kids. I got my kids, don't nobody say nothing. Hey, I'm a different type that. of nigga. I ain't gonna I'm say a, that. That's kinda what you said. I'm saying niggas. That's what that's how the audience gonna take it. So I mean Nah, exactly what I'm saying is niggas is pussy. They be trying to tell you to do some stand on shit that they don't stand on cause they pussy. They be being pussy. Niggas is pussy. That's what I'm saying. Don't mix around my words. I'm, I'm saying exactly what we I'm saying. We talking about the village and you saying the village you said the village is pussy. pussy. Boom. The village is pussy. That means I also niggas say fuck the I village. Ain't right all the time. Then you say fuck the village too. Yeah, fuck the village, they pussy. All right, the fuck the village, they pussy. I ain't right I'm all the saying time. now, look, can I say what I say about the village? It's not because you try to say what I said. I ain't saying. I'm say, I said exactly what you said. You, you know said you fuck the village. The village is pussy. You said I said I got my kids. Don't nobody say them. I ain't say that. Fuck the village and the village is pussy. I it's also saying said that. I ain't right all the time. So the motherfucker even come check me. I said that. Is that the village or is that your what you choose and who you choose? Can it's say always so. what I choose because yeah. they're my fucking kids. All right, me, like I said, like I'm trying to say about me, if somebody got something of value to say to one of my grandkids, one of my kids, then go ahead and share that with them Even because they can learn from they can learn from everybody. I feel like. The village as a whole, when they got the best interest in your kids, then they can help your job easier. Because they can teach them something that you even learn from somebody else. They can teach them that you wouldn't even teach them or you forgot to teach them. And they can be like, when you do come back around eventually and say it, and be like, yeah, Uncle Rick already told me that. Or, Grandpa already told me that. Mama already told me that. Village. So it reinforces what you already instilling because the village already raised you, especially in the black community. But I'm pretty sure even uh, the white community, the Asian community, the Mexican community, uh, pretty much everybody does the village yeah, thing. They village tighter than ours, nigga. It's I called agree. Little China. It ain't yeah. never called Little Africa nowhere. I agree with you, and that's the problem with us sometimes. It's Even, called Little Mexico. It ain't called Little Africa nowhere. So you tell me that village nigga is strong and it matters. They village ain't pussy. Niggas pussy. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? We gonna sit around like niggas ain't pussy ass niggas? No, they nigga pussy. I disagree. Man, you niggas village, pussy on the cheek. My G. village ain't pussy. Man, on the G, you niggas pussy. My Check village ain't pussy. Call my phone. Y'all got my number. Y'all pussy. I don't agree that my village is pussy. Niggas pussy.
My aunties, my uncles, my grandmas, my grandmas. Have your uncles pussy. All of them taught me something that I stand on. And they gave me a strong structure to be a man. But did they stand on? They reinforced it. But did they stand on? I believe so. On, in they self. In they self. I believe so. Why well, have your uncles pussy? We got the same fucking uncles, them niggas pussy. That's your opinion. That ain't mine. I don't disrespect my elders. Whatever, call it disrespectful or whatever you want to call it. If you pussy, you pussy. I'm not disagreeing with you on that either. If they was pussy, I would call them pussy. But I don't feel like they pussy. Nah, I feel like they pussy. So it ain't disrespect. <laughs> so, it ain't disrespect. I, mean, I just feel like your ass pussy. That's cool. I feel like my village was strong in helping me become a strong black man. Rest in peace. I'm ready on me. That's cool. He pussy for that. That incident was soft as fuck. That incident was soft as fuck. I wasn't there to even know the ins and outs of it. So I, I can was, know it. and I got All I can do on. is take your word for it and say, I understand how you feel. I'm not saying my uncle always had the best intentions when it comes to I ain't me. But what I'm saying is the nigga still instilled certain things in me that helped me be who I am. That's all the village got to do. You can, like you said, your sayings is a broke clock can be right two times a day. It is. So it I can it learn can. from anybody. It ain't even about you being pussy for me. It ain't even about you uh, not being up to par in life. Like I said, in, I said in a song a long time ago. I said these dope boys don't want to listen to the dope niggas, the niggas who smoking the dope. Feel me because they don't think they can learn from them. They think they, you smoke, you buy from me, you ain't got nothing good to say. Even a broke clock can be wrong. And like I said, I used to listen to, I used to listen to what we call the steams. I used to listen to the drunks. I used to listen to the uh, homeless motherfuckers. And if I could pull something from you, I'm pulling it from you. All right. So that's just how I approach everything. I think the village is strong. I think the village is necessary. I guess you on the opposite end of that. Nah, the and black village is not strong. It's nowhere in America where it's called Little Africa. But it's called Little Mexico. It's called Little China. It's called Little Korea. It's called Little... Uh, nigga, the Jewish guess, Community guess Center is bigger than the Martin Luther King on. Center. Guess what it's called? It's called the hood. It's called the hood. Called the hood. We don't own shit. We, we all written for white it. people. What? We don't own shit. Don't your mama own houses? In the My mama own in the hood, nigga. Uh, Nobody else mama do. That's why them niggas is out the fucking hood. What are you talking about? A lot of about? people mamas own something. Everybody from my hood is out the fucking hood. Damn. So that's not a good example for your niggas. But there's plenty of people I know that own stuff in the hood. I'm a product of my environment. You know what I'm saying? You was know, all over the world. I, I wasn't. know people that own stuff in the hood, man. So, like, the hood is buying their houses in. People is not moving out the hood. People is in the hood. That been Niggas don't buy houses years. in the hood. Niggas get money and buy houses with white people. Niggas do buy houses in the hood and they rent them out or they sell them. And then they go buy shit in the, with the white people. But how do you think that, okay, your daddy, for example, who ain't related to my auntie, he had a house in the hood too. A black man, right? Didn't he have a house in the hood? Yes yeah. or no? Yeah. This a nigga who I ain't know. I ain't know him until he started fucking with my auntie. This nigga had a house in the hood. Nigga, he owned it and he sold it and moved out with the white people. It's, that's He still owned a house in the hood. That was his stepping stone. So niggas do be owning shit in the hood. That's, you don't look at it because it's your daddy. You ain't looking at it like me. This is a man I didn't have. No idea. Because it's my dad. Had something in the hood. Nigga, met your mama. And and boom. Because that's another black person say. who owns something in the what hood. Facts or not facts. And then I'll let you say. Facts or not facts. What are the facts? What are you asking? He's another facts? black man who ain't had nothing to do with me. Own something in the hood. Facts. And met your mama there. Boom. Mm-hmm. Not facts. I don't know about him meeting your mama there. I'm saying he owns something in the hood. Not facts. He didn't own nothing in the hood? My granddaddy. Pass it on to him. Okay. But see, because it's my daddy. <laughs> but I'm, your granddaddy did. I'm and he's a black man. A, lot of them, a uh, black man that owns something in the hood. You saying people don't own nothing in the hood. So I've got to counteract what you're saying. 
It was another black person who ain't my blood that owned something in the hood. Okay. So, for our top five today, we're about to get into something controversial. We're going to do top five best R&B males of all time. All time? Yeah. So we doing R and B. We ain't doing soul. We ain't doing blues. We nah, doing R and B. R and B. R and B. Okay. What'd you say about uh, uh, Jack Queens when he told you? Uh, remember he said. He I woke was, up one day last year, about a year and a half ago. Right. Jaquel say. Jaquel say. He the king of R and B. I swear to God. I thought. I thought R Kelly, Chris Brown, and Usher all died in the same plane crash. I said, shit, Usher dead. Jacoose, the king of R&B. Ain't no Chris Brown. Jacoose. R. Kelly already locked up. Jacoose, the king. And this is what the fuck I'm stuck with. <laughs> oh, man, this nigga retarded. I ain't fucking with nigga say Jacoose. I refuse to say that nigga name right. He just like Tashiki. You and Tashiki in the same fucking boat. He said Jacoose. Jacoose, y'all good line, uh, motherfucker. Jacoose, man. Uh, now, fuck yeah. Jacoose. Diamond with uh, Dallas Austin. 
That's when they went diamond. They had Dallas Austin back there writing and uh, producing. What's your baby face? Man, he ain't, you know, no, not Waterfalls and all that type of shit. I'm sure he brought on that I album. I disagree. I'm sure he brought on that album. Maybe. That album went down. Maybe, but, nigga, the biggest hits wasn't written I'm by talking, baby face. Uh, I'm talking to Cat Man. I'm talking uh, Morris Day. Oh, no, we talking Morris Day. Morris Day was getting his hits We're from. We're talking about the fucking where time. They, where was they getting their hits from, for real, though? Come on now. You know. The king. Nigga Who? Barb, Prince. Quince. Prince Quincy. Prince was writing some of that shit. But best believe Prince ain't back in nobody. He ain't writing for uh, He was rearranging that music his Come ass. Come on now. He, he the, was, he he the he real was arranging that music. Alright. But. So I agree to disagree with you on number five. My number five, Brian McKnight. You was to be baby first. Yeah, I'm going back. What was going on for? Oh. I got a motherfucker that ain't nobody gonna agree with, but fuck it. I said it, what I fucking said. He got one of my favorite R&B songs of all fucking time. And that's Cisco. Mm. For that one fucking song. I cannot put a one song nigga in my shit. Well, he got that one song. He do got one song that's Boy, retarded. That bitch ridiculous. Which one did you talk about? Incomplete. Okay. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I just want to make sure it ain't thong song for the audience. Oh, man. Get out of here. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> I want to make sure you want to talk. Don't hey, thong song, thong song. I forgot about thong song. I'm going to take your bitch ass out. <laughs> Music, 
we you left with music, and then we came with my number three was Kale. That's a lie. It's your three is who? Chris Brown. Man, are you serious, man? Like I said, and he beat bitches allegedly. Allegedly, nah, he 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 got found guilty of nah, bitches. allegedly because of the podcast. <laughs> nah, nah, we ain't calling allegedly shit that actually happened. Oh. I don't know if it actually <laughs> happened. Oh, yeah, okay. Shit, I wasn't there. Allegedly. Nah, I ain't even gonna do that. Allegedly, he beat bitches. Allegedly, Boom. he beat bitches. He, 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 never mind. I'm saying he top he three of all time. He night. definitely top three, but he my up there, and he yo number three. Nigga number two. I'm gonna say Usher. That's the only one we agree on. <laughs> hey, this top nigga, three. That nigga probably out the whole top five. Man. That's the only one we agree on. This the nigga, next slide. This nigga is how old is Usher? Probably forty. Nah, Usher about forty five. About forty five. I seen this nigga when when he was probably thirty seven. <laughs> you hear me? This nigga was still flipping <laughs> and all that shit. Hey, oh my god! This nigga was still retarded. The boy's good. Hey, he is retarded. He the baby goat. He the retarded is on that stage. He man. the baby goat. I ain't like never seen the best a better concert, nigga. And I just I seen Drizzy who was cold. I just seen some cold concerts. This nigga was ridiculous. I heard. Uh, Bruno had the best concert, but I, I ain't, ain't never really seen, seen him. Yeah, because when you go to Bruno, you pay a hundred. So. But he popped. So yeah, so like he that's ain't different too. Yeah, he ain't your But I heard Usher was right under yeah, Bruno. Yeah, he up there. I heard it's like, oh my god. Okay, so I know him because I can only imagine what he was when he was twenty something, nigga. If I would have got to go see him back then, I know a motherfucker that seen Michael Jackson, Bruno Mars, Prince, Usher, and Chris Brown. Yeah, okay. all live. Right, right. They say. Michael Jackson Usher. Oh, yeah, he got the second best stage show. They say Michael Jackson Usher. Motherfucker, this is how somebody described Chris Brown shit to me is just, it was amazing. He put on a hell of a show. I heard he ain't dancing. I didn't know what to do. I heard he ain't dancing none. All right, so you got a different experience. So, number one, obviously on number one, it's the opposite of what we have for number three. He got Kells. I got CB. Everybody know R. Kelly, nah, the king of R&B. B. C. B. Fuck is this bitch talking about? This nigga crazy, man. Are you serious? How? How? How not? How, How not? He don't got as many big hits as Chris Brown. Fuck big. I'm talking about uh, presents. Ain't no Chris Brown without R. Kelly. And Chris Br- and R. Kelly. Ain't, ain't no, ain't no Michael Jackson without James Brown. But is Mike better than James Brown, nigga? Yeah. But, uh, hey, but Chris be, Brown ain't better than R. Kelly. Yes, he is. He could be better than your predecessor. He can dance his ass mean? off. Exactly. That's the other uh, uh, element, they say. That's the other element he got that R. Kelly don't got, nigga. It's the dance and shit. He can the dance, dance. dance. Whatever. He got better beats than R. Kelly, Can too. he write he got for better Michael beats. Jackson? He got better beats than R. Kelly, Can too. he write for Michael Jackson? Nigga, probably. Nigga. No. Dark Child wrote for Michael Jackson. Dark Child hard. What the fuck is you talking about? Man, he, he ain't. Chris Brown? Top 10 motherfucking writers of all time. Writers, but he ain't the one actually doing the shit. Period, nigga. Here Dark go. Child hard. What the fuck is you we talking about? We just put Babyface way at the bottom, nigga. He Babyface write, on he, five. He go, that's where you put him, but he like my number 30 or something. Five. But I'm saying, he even wrote for Michael Jackson. What the fuck that mean? I ain't like Ray Face song. That's what I said. But I liked it. You are no, who, who wrote Butterfly? You give me that probably butterfly. was Babyface, huh? Somebody uh, liked that. That probably not. Yeah, oh, it don't matter, nigga. Yo, yo, we we gonna agree to disagree. Cause who wrote number one is so research. CB, nigga. Go ahead, cause who wrote Butterflies? Who if, it, wrote if it was Babyface, what, what would you say? He Dookie, cause that's Mike' worst big hit. Yeah, I ain't like it. Exactly, nigga. <laughs> Until the end of time and shit like that, and you are not alone, and nigga Brian Michael Cox probably was right. <laughs> some shit from Brian Michael Cox hard. Top five songwriters of all time. I'm saying, niggas was writing way better shit than Babyface and who you said, R. Kelly. What R. Kelly write for Michael Jackson? You are not alone, hard. Man, that's cool. Hard. It ain't in Michael Jackson top ten hits. How do you get to be in number Nigga, one? Nigga, Marsha Ambrosia wrote You Give Me Butterflies. <laughs> Ooh, wait. That's a nice little hit for her. But, <laughs> and I love mean, Floyd. That don't mean shit. And I love Floyd. Oh, 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 you just got some that, big points on the next top five. Shout out, shout out Marsha Ambrosia. I'm, 
I'm impressed by that. I'm impressed too. I'm impressed too. by that, but that explains why that's one of Mike's worst top hits. Yeah, I ain't like Butterfly yeah, that yeah. much. But Marsha and Brother get big her, points yeah, for that. For her right now, I'm, 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 I'm salute her for right now, though. Uh, so there's no way I can change your mind on R. Kelly. No, it's a king. Fuck. We gonna rest that our top three was the same people, just different order. But we, hey man, I ain't fuck with that babyface pick or that music soul child pick you had. I ain't gonna cuss you out about Brian McKnight. Yeah, because that was hard. That was a nice pick. That's He up there. He ain't babyface. What about the Bobby Brown, that number uh, four, nigga? He ain't music. What? He, but he Bobby Brown. How you ain't move him to number five instead of uh dude? Nah, Babyface from Indiana. Man, come on. He better than Babyface, nigga. Nah, Bias. At least with... Uh, Indiana Bias. You see what I'm saying? You be all that good. Well, I'm Indiana Bias. Yeah, I know. You all... Well, next time we gonna do comedians, nigga, you gonna put... Uh, Mike Epps! <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, sir! You know, Top five! Uh, actors, who you gonna do? Vivica Fox? Vivica Fox! What are you talking about? Top five! Yes, sir! Indiana! I think we gonna put a... Uh, Indiana Bias! We gonna put an Indiana motherfucker in there. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Unless we talking about pop, they go at number one. I'm gonna put an Indiana boy at number five every time. Oh, I'm man. Indiana bias. Baby it's face. Cool. Never man. wrong with it. Hey, yeah. hey, respect the Indiana shit, though, man. So, yeah, I'm Indiana bias. Hey, man. But on that note, hey, it's the real Rick James. I'm Nino G, the young OG. That's my OG. This the podcast. Podcast, cause a nigga ain't got time to be naming this shit. Hey, we love y'all. Like, I don't love uh, y'all. Subscribe, comment. Hey man, share this motherfucker. Share you know this motherfucker though. Trying to grow, man. If you share it, I will love you. On everything. Hey, orange royalty, orange royalty. They might can hey. get those, but they can't get these. I'm gonna throw Rhino Max shit down in the description. You feel me? Go get y'all some of them. Look for it in the description.